Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Scroll Saw Corner. Today we're going to do a fretwork project on the scroll saw. I haven't posted a video of fretwork in a while, and I don't do fretwork a ton because as uh, most of my viewers know, I tend to prefer doing intarsia. But today I'm going to work on a project where we're going to make a cat on fretwork. It's a pattern by a pattern maker and scroll saw artist named Russ Beard. He posts his patterns on various Facebook groups, and uh, they're always really interesting, very intricate, a lot of detail. So we're going to drill a couple of holes and start doing some cutting. Thanks. This project was made as a gift for a co-worker. As I mentioned earlier, it's a pattern by Russ Beard, and I used quarter-inch uh, highly figured walnut that I got from Rockler. Rockler had some uh, figured walnut short pieces, and I planed them down at a friend's shop because my planer only has straight knives. Uh, his planer has the helical cutter head, and I felt like it left a good finish on the figured wood without really tearing it up. I've planed figured wood before using my planer, and when I get very thin, um, in addition to some tear out, I've had blowouts. So I tried to avoid that this time. I used, uh, I think it was a number 55 drill bit for all of the holes, and except for the outside of the plaque, I used 2.0 spiral blades. Most of them were Flying Dutchman. I went through quite a few of them for this project, but uh, using thin blades, that's to be expected to some degree. I've said it before and I'll say it again. One of my favorite things about the Jet Scroll Saw is the blade tensioning lever at the top of the blade holder here. It makes a big difference for me when I'm doing a lot of inside cuts because it holds the blade and it sets the tension in one motion. So you don't have to fiddle with thumb screws or tensioning levers or anything like that. It does it all in one swipe. I can typically, unless it's a very large piece, feed it through the bottom fairly easily without removing the lower blade holder. But the other nice thing about the jet is the lower blade holder is a small barrel with a uh, grub screw and it'll tighten up and hold the blade but you can remove it from the blade holder so you can feed the piece through the bottom of your workpiece and then fit the whole thing back in through the saw, through the slit on the table. Since I'm editing the video, I'm able to see just how long it took me to cut all of this. And the total time at the saw is about four hours, which was less than I estimated, but still a pretty hefty amount of time for such a small piece. I don't typically keep track of the numbers, whether it's how long I spent on the project, how many holes it had, how many pieces it had. You know, it's helpful to keep track of the pieces when you're doing intarsia because you need to know if you have them all or not. But in general, for, for me, it's just about spending time at the saw, making the cuts, and enjoying the process. This particular type of fretwork is one of the few instances where I prefer a spiral blade. The edges of all the holes are fairly amorphous, they're organic looking, so you don't need to have perfect, straight, clean and clear lines. The other situation would be a very large workpiece that you can't rotate fully through the throat of your saw, so you may need to cut in other directions. I think cutting pieces like this are actually really good for beginners because you don't have to really follow the line. The only person who's going to know if you colored outside the line, so to speak, is you. And once you've removed the pattern, you're not even going to notice because these are more about the composition than any singular hole.
probably the biggest tip that I have if you're trying to do a piece like this is you want to really take your time, particularly where the lines are close together. It's very easy, even with a fine spiral blade, even when you're going very slow, to push right through and turn two or three holes into one big hole. And you can get away with that a couple of times. Um, since I shrunk this pattern down, there were some situations where I had to do it because it just didn't make sense to try to drill so many fine holes near each other. But if you do it too many times, you can end up with a, sort of an imbalance of white space and holes. So keep your eye on that. While I'm working on a project, I'll often share progress pictures, whether it's on my personal Facebook page, on my Instagram, Scroll Saw Corner, or on various Facebook pages for Scroll Saw artists. And fretwork is one of the ones that's always kind of fun to share. You know, I'll tend to flip the pattern over and you can see the progress. And uh, this was a fun one because when I first started it, I only showed around the ear. And um, that was something that uh, a lot of people had some interesting guesses on what it was. I posted it saying, you know, guess what I'm making. And I heard a couple people say owl and birds. Um, bobcat was one which was really close. This cat has, uh, you know, a lot of the shape that the bobcats and lynxes do. But it's when you see the finished piece, it's clearly a house cat. So, uh, so that might be something fun to do. Um, for you is when you're cutting a fretwork project you can flip it over and share a picture of the back. You may have noticed a name change on the channel and I felt that that was due because I am producing mainly scroll saw content on the channel, and I think I'm going to focus on that. That seems to be what I enjoy making the most, so that's what you're going to be stuck with. I've also purchased the domain scrollsawcorner.com, and I'll have articles and my project pictures, a gallery, and patterns that I create posted there. Um, I expect I'll have the website up here probably around the beginning of the year, of 2021. So go ahead and take a look if you'd like scrollsawcorner.com and you can see what I'm up to there or on Instagram. I think my favorite thing about the scroll saw community online is just the variety of things that people make, whether it's traditional, like the work pieces that I tend to make, intarsia, fretwork, things like that, or some really contemporary, modern, artistic type things. The signs people make sometimes just blow me away. I really enjoy seeing it. So if you like to share your work and you're on Instagram, I'd love for you to tag me in it at Scroll Saw Corner. I really enjoy seeing what people are making and interacting with other people on the Scroll Saw. So if you are on Instagram, please tag me sometime. I'm often asked what do I recommend to practice doing fine detail work or any tips or things like that. And I'll tell you really the biggest thing is just spending more time at the scroll saw. When you look at intarsia or you look at fretwork and you look at something that looks very complicated and, and sometimes it may be very complicated, I've seen people say to themselves, well, I'm not ready to do that yet. Or I don't think I could accomplish that. And, you know, I'll tell you, it's been three years recently for me that I've been working on the scroll saw. And I 
haven't really felt that way very much. You know, I think it's important to just look at the project, break it into pieces, take your time, be patient, and you'll surprise yourself. For me, I didn't have a lot of patience when I started doing woodworking, and I would rush through things, I would make mistakes, and I would learn from them, but there were a lot of them. At this point, for me, it's not as much about the finished project as it is about enjoying the process. I enjoy the time that I get to spend here at the saw in my wood shop and making something, whether it's a gift in the case of this fretwork cat or a project of my own design for my personal enjoyment. I hope you all can see some of that and I hope you can learn, learn to practice some of the patience and enjoy working at the saw and sharing the things that you make as well. If you have something you'd like to share, please share me here or on Instagram at scroll saw corner as well. Thank you. Have a great day.